Okay, welcome to day 21 of the 30-day project we're doing for the servo motion. Um, basically, uh, you know, the start from scratch. Uh, you know, it's been, you know, pretty much got the uh, ACD file worked out. Um, you know, we, we've pretty much going through and, and we're going to be adding some more stuff to it in the next week. Uh, but right now, today, we're going to pick back up where we left off. You know, as far as the access control screen. In the access control screen, we kind of polished it up a little bit. We stayed with our original design, and basically what we did is we just, you know, kind of added some brackets around it and uh, added some some uh, multi-state indicators, changed our buttons out. Uh, so just kind of give you an overview of kind of what that looks like right now. If we started it, uh, basically it goes through the states for each axis and, uh, you know, kind of tells what they're doing. So what I want to do on this one, though, is I want to add a, a simulate, like if we were simulating the e-stop, you know, so add a, basically add the e-stop button in there. Um, so if we, we go to our controls and we come back up and like we just use the e-stop relay. So what we can do is just, just take this and what we're going to do is basically simulate it, right? <clears throat> so we'll just grab... Actually, right, so we can grab one of these, just copy and paste, and then we'll call this <clears throat> e-stop, come back in and get our tag back from our controller, copy and paste, right? So once we do that, we're going to go in here and we're going to use the animation, the touch animation. And we're sticking with our theme as far as the, uh, <clears throat> as far as, as far as the set the bit to one and then pause and then set the bit to zero. So what we want to do is basically replace the, uh, the, the tag right here, come back and, and we'll add that in. So again, this is going to be just the e-stop simulation, so we'll just come back and throw it in there like that. Uh, and I, real quick, we'll, we'll do a little test to see if it works. Okay, so what we'll do is... Okay, so we hit e-stop, and of course, uh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> it's a... Uh, the way we have it programmed... <clears throat> where we have the HMI button program it's going to tell it to cut off and cut back on so what we can do is we can go back and make this a um, a maintain button you know so we can just take this this tag right here come back and make this a maintain button so go to buttons, hit maintain, draw it out, <coughs> excuse me, so what we want to do on that aspect is come back in, we'll take what we, our tag is, and basically just grab it, throw it into the value and into the indicator and then come back and edit the properties so in the properties we'll call this e-stop test okay so we'll see how that looks <clears throat> Come back in here and say e stop active. So we use the same thing, except we're going to blink. We'll do a blink this time to, to make sure it, uh, you know, we, we know it's going to. So basically, let's, let's make that bold as well. And change the font a little bit. Okay, so let's see if that works. 
come back and we hit the e stop and the e stops active okay so as soon as it comes out it's going to automatically go through the states and reset itself we should be able to start start request everything starts okay okay so all that works um, so basically we want to get rid of this button we don't need it anymore um, so we'll come back and we'll put text that just says for So we'll come down and, and kind of give an indication of what we're doing. <clears throat> kind of make it make it look like that. You know, we don't, we don't really want to point it out too bad. Just group them together, and we'll put this over here kind of out of the way and we'll come back save it and what we want to do is come back and, and make this uh, hold on let's, let's bring this to front okay send it back so send to back What I want to do is make this uh, this font, this, the numbers on here, a little bit bolder. So basically we can see them a little bit better. So come down to your property panel, and in your property panel just go to, uh, basically you're going to go, I believe it's font. Uh, color style should be, might be here, might be, I think it's font. Anyway, under font, you change it to bold. And that should handle that. Come down here again. We'll, we'll change that to every one of these. Just make it bold. Okay. <clears throat> Send that to back. So the reason I was sending it to back so I can get to it and basically edit it real quick and uh, not have too much trouble okay so we got one more to do and then we should be able to to actually run this put it on the, the main HMI and run it Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Save. And then, okay, so hit stop. And that way we can see everything kind of, you know, moving and, and doing, you know, doing what it's doing. Um, again, these are just readouts. Um, that's our, our numeric entries. <coughs> so what we can do is actually change those out too. Um, but what we'll do first is we'll go ahead and save the screen and start the HMI so when it starts up it's going to start up the splash screen like we had um, you know start the client uh, the correct way you know in the order it's signing this in right now it's actually loading everything and you, so you'll basically see down here you know the processes as they start you know the uh, the macro You'll start seeing the each function as it you know as it loads and then it will sign in the operator and then we'll come back and and everything will be working but you know to just to kind of you know go over that point we're, we're just doing the access control screen anyway <clears throat> okay so um and we will be adding alarms and stuff in the next little while uh, but uh, let's wait till 
should be signed in the operator. Yep, signed in the operator. Of course, it says advanced engineer. We can change the, na the name of that, but uh, still pulls up. We have our primary, our server active. We do not have a secondary. Our access screen looks like this. Uh, we can start the system. Everything starts up, starts running. We can stop the system. We can e-stop it. <clears throat> so a nice e-stop test. You can see the, the states up here changing. So you got basically, not only do you have indications down here, you have an indication on your header. So if you weren't, just so I, just to kind of elaborate on that a little bit, if we had multiple screens, um, which we won't on this because, you know, we're keeping this project kind of cut and dry, it's kind of short. But if we had multiple screens, this is the reason why you have a header, right? So you can have, no matter what screen you're on and no matter where you're going, you have this information. So if, if something like this happens anywhere, then you have basically an indication why. So one thing I don't like is uh, this screen. Uh, we need to make it where it, it fits the, the screen a little bit better. So let's go back into the screen and open it up. Go to properties. Uh, let's see. Maximize. Allow resize. Use over. So. <clears throat> might be border padding or something because that should actually work uh, but let's see save it and of course we don't have another screen to go to so we can backtrack to the main splash screen and yeah that, that kind of looks better it's not not so bad down here it still has a problem up here but either way that 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 seems to work <clears throat> we have this overlapping so let's go ahead and adjust that okay that's being stubborn send you back All right, so let's save that. Jump back over here and reload our access screen. So let's go back to the main splash screen. Reload and everything looks good. So uh, it's probably the stretch of the screen. Um, you know that the 1024 by instead of the 1280 are even higher than you know like a the, the more more defined stuff. So, um, with this said, though, <clears throat> we basically have the system where it's running. Um, you know, we have tests that we put in place. We have we have our state transit transition, so we know what's going on. Uh, we can come in here and change our draw if we want. So, if we want this, you know, we can change the draw that which which will change the speed. As soon as we press enter, um, so we can basically you know just come in here and make sure that. So the, each individual axis is running slightly different. Um, obviously, you would want to probably cascade the system up. So let's say 2.0, 2.5, and then we'll call this 2R1.5. So it'll basically you know, keep drawing the tension tighter. Um, you know, if this was like a, a, a system that ran kind of paper or, or maybe some kind of new, you know, printer or something of that nature kind of just what the line line of this is doing but uh, either way I just want to kind of show that hey no we've kind of tightened the screen up a little bit made it little look a little bit better um, testing the e-stop circuit um, basically the e-stop of the state machine uh, the, the reason why we have the uh, upper upper bar up here you know the header bar 
and the ease of the navigation screen, right? So it's not only just for, you know, forward and backwards, right? You can just come down here and, and basically, uh, you know, pick what you want, or you can come back and clear the history, you know. So you can do that as well. So, okay, so um, real quick, you know, just kind of wrap up today. Um, you know, it's kind of short day. Just wanted to kind of throw in some, some added elements, make it look a little bit better. Uh, we'll come in and throw some alarms in in the next, uh, in the, probably the next video, and just show how LM, AM, ALMD works. So we're basically doing like an, another a, uh, a e-stop test and have it pop up up here and get all that working. Uh, so um, you know, like I said in the next video, we'll go ahead, go over that stuff. Um, so again, if you have any questions or whatever, just uh, leave them in the comments below, and I'll be glad to answer them. I know today was kind of short. Uh, kind of basically back on the HMI stuff. Uh, I know I, we talked about getting back on the H, on the ACD file, which we, we will be doing on on the, you know tomorrow. But uh, like I said, I just want to kind of go over a couple more things and kind of tighten this up a little bit better. All right. Well, I appreciate your time and uh, appreciate your support. Thank you.